the Shed Season 2024. I'm your host, Cody Sheen. Cody Sheen Outdoors, you're watching. Uh, this is episode one, my first time out here this year. It's early March, and uh, let me show you what I'm looking at here. Let me spin the camera around. A lot of open country out here today. It's a little overcast, as you can see. There's some snow in the higher elevations. And, uh, yeah, it's brisk. It's cold. I'm layered up. I got Rudy with me today. Rudy, hey, buddy. My little companion out here. He has to get out and take a walk also, or walk me. Anyways, yeah, so I just, just started. I'm about one, maybe two tenths away from the pickup truck. I just parked it. Seen a few does down through here. I like to, uh, sorry about the wind, hit this buck brush. To me, that's a good source of feed. Trying to let the wind pass. So I kind of I kind of like hunting circles around the, the buck brush. I've always uh, been pretty success, successful in the past. So what is it, Rudy? But yeah. Thanks for joining me. Let's see what I can go find. Excited, my first uh, episode out here, 2024 has begun. I do have a little bit of piece of information. I left real early at, you know, I got about a 3.45 jump this morning. So driving about two hours in the in the uh, night on the dirt road, real bumpy, rocky roads, I leave early and take my time getting up here. I saw two bachelor groups uh, of bucks. Both of them had five, I believe, so I saw ten bucks. Uh, each group had real nice three-by-threes in them. I, I don't know if they're three-by-threes. Real nice framed bucks. It was dark. My headlights on them, you know, 100 feet in front of me. But I had time to throw up my binoculars. So I've already seen ten bucks. The, they're definitely packing right now still. So... I was hoping, you know, I don't like to start until the browns have dropped. Clearly, they haven't this year, but that's okay. Um, maybe I'll find one or two. Who knows? So, kind of in the search mode for, you know, whites, hard whites, hopefully. But I'll, uh, if I pull up on anything, I'll definitely let you know. I'll keep in touch. I just was doing some glassing with my binos, and uh, let's see if I can do it here. Down in that draw, looks like to be a nice, um, can't tell if it's a three point or a fork and horn. Has a little light guard on it. So let's go down and go pick it up. Yes, first antler of the day. All right guys, let's walk up on it together. <clears throat> it's at the base of this tree here, you can probably see it. Whoa. Feels good, that's a good looking antler. Looks to be, I'm assuming a hard white. Oh, it's a big three. Couldn't see it from up on the hill. Okay, Rudy, that's what we're looking for. Nice mature buck. All right. <laughs> you happy, Rudy? Yeah, I'm happy. Let's see if I can pick this up, retrieve it for you guys. Oh, yeah, it's good bases. Yeah. And get them in the frame. So I was telling you, I saw some bucks coming in in headlights. And um, let me back up. I would say, I would say that's pretty close to some of the better bucks I saw in the groups, in the bachelor groups. They look to be narrow, tall, three points, just like this guy. And he has good G2s. Just the main beam doesn't fork. And he's, he has pretty decent mass. He's a good buck. I wonder if the other side's around here. He's a he's a hard white. Stoked. Good deer. Good eye guard. Love it. Circle around here and see if I can find the other side his right so maybe I'll find his left I'm just kind of in this little draw here this little goalie kind of see in the small frame 
Yeah, cool. I'll look around a little bit more. Maybe I'll find the other side, huh, Rudy? There's Rudy, huh, Rudy? Yeah. All right, cool. First antler of 2024. Big old giant hard white three point. Stoked. Cool. Doe and a yearling. There was about nine does, yearlings mixed. One little forking horn in there, a little one and a half year old. Both sides left and right. So clearly, we're not going to probably find any browns on this trip. I'll need to come on up next week. But I definitely don't want to push them around. This is their wintering ground, so I got to tread lightly. I'm trying to avoid them actually. I'll probably circle back up. I came down quite a ways in elevation to grab this three point antler. Now it's time to head on back. Of course, I don't find the other side. They rarely, it seems like, you know, shed side by side. But every now and then they do. When you do, it's like, yes, got lucky. But anyways, I'm gonna keep on marching. I've only put a couple miles on, so day's still young. So I thought I'd stop here for a quick second and just show you the, the massive south slope that I've been glassing. Uh, I didn't tear it apart, pick it apart. I just have 10 power binoculars, but I, uh, it's been about 15 minutes so far. No confirmed antlers over on that hillside. It's all pretty much, I would say, two to four hundred yards to the top I should be able to pick something up especially white but I'm gonna head up the ridge that I'm currently on right now and then uh, just kind of glass back these big pockets of brush here you see in the background my, my fingers pointing in the past sometimes I see a you know a three-point word or an antler just sitting in the grass just popping so hopefully I can pick one up and show you cross canyon then go retrieve it but for now, just heading on up. Well, there's an old chalk. Looks like it was a good one at one time. I'm about 10 years late to the party on that one. But right underneath these bushes, just kind of like what I said earlier. I'll keep looking, maybe I can find one a little newer. Oh. Just came across this cow school here. There's some more bones down here around the corner of the bush. But no luck. I've been hoping to run across, of course, a couple more antlers, but no luck. Just the one three point still on my back. I thought that was a shed right there. Out of the corner of my eye, it's just a stick shed. All right, bye for now. Hey guys, it was a good day today. It was, it was a short day. I just did a little less than three miles, 2.8 miles, the All Trails app said. Uh, just the one bone for today. It's a big, big boy, but uh, I'm happy for this little hard white three point. Got some mass, got a few years on him, he's a good buck. This is kind of the reputation of what they have up here. Tall, skinny, heavy. Anyways, yeah, I just cut this a little short today. Uh, we'll check out in six, seven, eight miles. My really dog hurt his wrist. Hurt his wrist actually last June. Jumping down and basically hyperextended it. And today he just kind of couldn't quite do it. Couldn't hang with the old, hang with dad. So I apologize for the rain. I'm sure there's a couple drops on there. Maybe that's better. I don't know. So uh, thanks uh, for watching. Hope you appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to catch you again on Shed Mountain.